Okay. So um, there's a question that you could ask about these pair of constraints here. The um, upper bound on xj of, of 1 and uh, the lower bound is 0. I mean, why is it that we need to do that if uh, we're restricting our, our variables to be binary in the first place? And the answer is we don't need to do that. But it's a convenient thing to do uh, later on when we, we're trying to solve uh, integer programs by relaxing the integer constraints. Uh, you get uh, a lot more efficiency if you, if you also have uh, bounds on the variables that, 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 uh, that limit them to taking on the same range, general range, as the, uh, as the dropped integer variables. So we'll keep those around even though it's a little redundant as the, the bottom line. Okay, so let's, since we've, we've raised the topic and it's coming up on the slides anyway, let's spend some time talking about classes of integer programs. And there's all kinds of classes uh, of problems that people can make up. You know, it's just as simple as uh, thinking up a new variant and giving it a name. Uh, what we've been working with are BIPs, binary integer programs. That's a problem in, uh, that's got linear objective function and linear constraints, and all the decision variables are binary. They're either 0 or 1. Okay? So uh, that's the simplest kind of, of integer program. That's what we've dealt with so far. And you can make it more complex. You can do things like, like introduce nonlinear uh, objective functions, nonlinear constraints, but that makes it a really fearsomely difficult problem. And it's hard enough as is to solve these things. So we'll stick with uh, just the linear structure. Uh, generalization of a BIP is an IP. Uh, so an IP has uh, a restriction on the decision variables that they be integer valued, you know, usually uh, the natural numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Uh, and again, we're, you know, when we're dealing with these things, we're going to stick with a linear structure. And a generalization of an IP is a MIP, a mixed integer program, where we've got integer restrictions on some of the variables, and some of them are allowed to be continuous. Okay, so we might have uh, uh, you know, uh, half of our decision variables be integer valued, and, and half of them be uh, continuous. We might see an example of a MIP. Okay, is that okay with everyone? So that's really natural stuff. Uh, just just names uh, for different kinds of 